is just perfect. Aren't those the best borders we've ever seen? They are, right? We've got uh, 93 income. The goal for today is at least 150, ideally 200 by the end of the session. We've got 140,000 maximum power and 114 of force limit. We've got 31,000 Cossacks. Which, uh, as mentioned, this, this is a calf cost, calf fire, and calf shock for the Cossack units. I absolutely hate the stacks that this uh, my sub did, so I have to work on fixing them. Where's even any of my calf? Where the hell is my calf? This is terrible, you know, what he did here, because I got only 60% calf to infrage. You, you don't go calf only. So I'm gonna, gonna most probably take all these stacks into one place and uh, fix them a little bit. Anyway, let's unpause. Use that we are up to date with text, a bit behind with the pro. Uh, we are about to finish defensive ideas and also our national ideas. With the next tech being fairly important, uh, so I might save up some mill points first. The so current combat width is uh, 25. If I want to start organizing the stacks, it should be around 25. Let's go speed to two. So both Bashkir and Kazakh are more subjects, just as mentioned, and we are in the process of annexing them. Kazakh has plenty, of course, it's all of this, uh, but I'm really, I'm not sure what I'm gonna give them yet, because I have more army points than Diplo points, so it's more worth to, uh, like, core stuff by myself. In general, we should also work on getting some trade companies in Siberia, like my sub started adding this. If we start adding this, how about we add the whole state, because this is not gonna be stated, so this and this as well. So that makes it 39% of control. So I could go ahead and take a loan and invest 400 ducats into this. Should make it yeah, enough to get uh, fourth mentioned. I'm I'm not worried about how much uh, I can get from Choros because I have a border agreement with uh, Sasanian Empire. Uh, so here, oh yeah, take all of these boys. And then you're left with this guys to carpet siege. So you go and take capital of Oirat. So in general, I want to snipe gold mine in this peace deal. I want to connect my lands. So in this free la this free provinces, because otherwise I won't be able to core everything immediately. And then we can get some cores back to Kazakh. So it's gonna be um, Shu to block anyone from east to go, in, to go into here. It's gonna be Shuven. It's gonna be Shet. Karazal. But I'm telling you, I don't want to give them too much. And I'm gonna give them bits. Semei. And Ayagos. That's it, I think, for what I'm gonna give them in this war. Besides that, I might just want to take uh, some provinces for myself. Maybe just a matter of cool borders. Fine, 300 points for us to call. Oh, it's 111 C, by the way. I think I'm ready. And I did send this merchant to Kazain, right? Yeah, yeah, because I took over the trade from subjects as well. What I'll do with Russia, so Novgorod is going to uh, Lithuania. I might take Kamas uh, state. I have to ask him. Okay, let's see the chat. What do you guys say? Who is the friend? Who is the enemy? So we have two friends now. It's Sasanian Empire and Lithuania. As for the enemies, I tend to say we don't have enemies. So we take all of this, right? Let's go. This is, I know this is ugly, but it is what it is. I will fix that. We over have capacity a lot. Easy fix for that. I will go to clergy and take gaff capacity. And I'll go to burgers. Cancel one of these privileges. You know, it was this one I don't want to cancel. And also take uh, gaff capacity. Then what I notice is that my sub did not use one person loans. So let's take one person loans. This is done to keep it over 10. And we paid the three person loans, please. Okay, now it's good because I only have uh, 1.7 of interest. Bashkiria is not loyal, let's, let's disable that for now until I fix it. I did not look for trade centers, I have bigger priorities. Goldmine. 
and uh, connecting my lands here by just giving some of this. There are not many trade centers like at all. This is going to uh, Sasanian. This I took, so I actually did take all the trade centers I could. Now, with this fixed, I can go ahead and start coring the provinces. And trying to steal through guys the country. So, you might be thinking, oh Zlevik, how do you plan to actually colonize or expand? Expand it's here. Okay, this is where I'm expanding. I colonize. Well, in the mod, Age of Reformation is giving two colonies. Colonial range and global settlers increase plus 50. So I'm gonna colonize Siberia with this. I just should build more churches to get this modifier. We need... Uh, I'm building one already, so I need six more. That's exactly how much money I have for six more. So we're gonna get more splendor and we're gonna unlock this faster. Okay, so it's looking good. I think I can rather transfer than collect in these two nodes as well. Let's see, it's 21.1. And after we update this, 24, let's see how much more we can make. Oh, 23.4, close enough, so we've got 105 income, it's gonna be increased even more, so for extensions uh, taking trade power brought 45%, so it's decreasing our trading income a bit. Plenty of player wars and blue flames, so let's see what's happening. We've so got Westphalia that attacked Poland, we've got Lithuania that attacked Poland, F. Got Barbie states still fighting Castile and France with the help of the Ottomans. I'm not sure if Ottomans are actually doing something in this war. And we've got Kemet fighting with also France. So Kemet is helping Barbary states. So currently, with our amount of troops, we've got 60k of infantry, we've got 40k of Cossacks, and 15k of artillery. You might increase the amount of artillery, but I'm on my force limit. I'm asking if I can play if you can take this state. Did he get pushed back or something? Oh no, he pissed out Poland already. F. Okay, I don't have any rebels incoming, so I can go ahead and turn off my armies. Now I'm making 40 ducats a month. It also means that I should be looking for cheaper risers now to improve them to higher levels, because we need to increase that mana generation. For now I don't have a way to do that. Soon Barbie states in Poland are our rivals. I assume Poland is about to die, so let's go and scoofully sell them. They're not gonna be... A possible rival anymore. My death is 827. I've got also 49 death in Kazakh and 94 in Bashkiria. Are you heading to east and not to the richer western lands? Oh yeah, there might be a small idea called Ottomans, but yeah, I can just go and one v one him, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> that would work. <laughs> I'm heading where I can head. You have in the multi it's not single player game. In the multiplayer game you have to adjust to the things that are happening uh, around you. Especially if you are not the biggest nation around. Oh no, Lithuania is my ally. It's my best ally. Good I have to sign an empire. It's all good guys, don't worry. It's all planned. Elvani is ganking Poland guys. Brandenburg just attacked as well. F. Let's try speed free again. <laughs> After originally one second, he lagged. How can you build a great project without 1k ducats? Depends, I might have some... Price modifiers. I can build it for... Maybe changing the mod. I think the, yeah, the monuments are changing the mods. The basic one is just for 200. Well, this is like giving us absolutely nothing. But at the highest level it's giving prestige per development from missionaries. So my monument is of no use. The, the, the monuments are a bit reworked in the mod. I don't even know how. I, I did not I wasn't included in the changes. So let's go and decrease autonomy. And guys, that's gonna be a very lovely decrease of autonomy. Because the gold mine was developed by Charles Player. There's eight production. Could I uh, build a fort around here? Yeah, let's build a fort on this. Or maybe here it's just covering more terrains around. Yeah, and I'm not, again spending money instead of going <laughs> for instance, it's fine guys. So now I'm earning 20 ducats from gold. It was 7 when we started this session. 66 balance, let's go. So galleys on size guys. So this instead of 3000 is gonna be 4.2 thousand. Uh, that also gives us uh, attrition to enemies plus one and max hostile attrition. 
that gives us more of armies 5% and infantry cost minus 20% so and making even more money uh, oh yeah and I've lost money from gold mine because uh, I've lost prosperity and then finally I'm getting uh, policy for stab cost and developing the primary card so for example if we go to Imeriti or maybe some some lower developed province it's, this is 46 right once I take this this is going now to 40 so I just need to spread the culture more so yeah Europe is gonna be interesting in this session guys I, I know some stuff about the plans not sure if they're gonna happen but I know about some plans do you see this folly guys this is the border girl, guys this is art especially that we can grab my first um, age of reformation bonus and it's gonna be plus plus two colonies coin range and the global settlers increase so I have to pick up uh, I need a month tick to get this colonies and then we start colonization there it goes first colony second on the way and since I'm gonna I want to skate a lot I'm already canceling this guy and sending another one I'm gonna go for four colonies at the same time so the question is, do we plan to death anytime soon? Because I could get this to 20, but Burgess is gonna be this way for a while. I didn't plan to death for now, just get it to 20. The Shun War, uh, he won with war already, we'll just truth broke him. I think the mod nerfed soldiers' households, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, they do give more on, uh, on grain. So the manufacturer start building might not be that worth it. But this is in a few texts for now, I'm just taking income for it. Oh, what am I? Oh no. That's why it's assigned by assaulting provinces. That's that's bad. That's a formable. That's stronger. Anyone else with the Diplotech? I could spy network on. It has a low spy detection. Let's go for this, guys. They had changed ideas, right? Got discipline, talents of heavens, cooperation. That's the same, but morale of armies is not in base. The yes, when power covers speed, infantry compatibility, unrest, uh, tax, progress growth, trade efficiency, navy tradition, ship costs, force limit. How do I stand with the maximum powers, by the way? Well, look, we're not that bad. Especially that compared to our, like, if you take a look at our development. Not that bad. But it's. Ottomans have more than twice than us. Do you keep upkeep this month and, and not if who does? Uh, so the mod is being um, taken care of by Sealand, who plays Friesland in the Monday game. And as for the changes, we are taking all of the suggestions from our suggestions channel on Discord. After every campaign, we put them into a document. Then we do like a discussion between the GMs and usually I'm the one deciding if something is getting updated or not. My approach to the mod is that we do not want to go too much far away from vanilla. That's why, for example, we changed the Mercs back to Merc companies, just reworked. We were using the um, banner Mercs before. That's why I'm not accepting too many like huge changes to idea groups or how policies work like for example MGL does so it's like it changes a lot but not staying too far away from vanilla at the same time what's the best thing you can get from fishing 666 general i think it's after 1550 uh, stability a better rural stat plus one I think that, yeah, these are the coolest, but it's like super, 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 super rare. You can also get a, a fishing accident, which kills your ruler. The colonies are actually going fairly fast. So I, I probably can colonize all of this today. Uh, the limit for the cause action is there is, but uh, this decision that is from a vanilla privilege uh, it doesn't care about your first limit of the special unit. It don't, what it only cares about is your calf to infratio, so you cannot go up beyond that. It's up to 10,000 you get from this uh, decision and up to your Kaftu Infratio. So if my Kaftu Infratio is 50, I can have 61,000 of Cossacks because I have, because have 61,000 of infantry. So if I wanted to get more, I could just recruit more infantry and then delete it after getting the Cossacks. Oh, what's this? 
Ah, I can take victory over the Ottomans because the Ottomans do not exist anymore. <laughs> this Ottoman Empire. What is this? Prestige and the game for 10 years unrest and tax meta and prestige? Well, prestige might be of use, but I'm... Hmm. This I'm not gonna get. Hmm. It's also yearly. Ah, let's take it. Tax meta. It's a big war in Europe. I prefer to invest in the buildings for now. So there's Tuscany, Switzerland and Castile versus Barbie states. So probably Barbie states attacked. Corsica. Oh, oh yeah, the country defended. And there are three provinces here. Yeah, the Barbie states formed by Barbara states. It's not like out of nowhere. It was Barbara states, which is part of the mod, and then we added Barbie states. France is thick, and imagine that it was formed by Burgundy. Bicottoman gang. Expected! That's what I was telling guys. The big European war. Westphalian, Tuscany, and I, want, I knew that they're gonna fight Ottomans. Uh, and France? There was a chance because Ottomans joined randomly last session a war of uh, France, I think, against Barbie states. France and Castile. So he's just paying him back. Now, that's the first step of fixing the borders. Aren't that better? I can become an empire. So that fixes the issue of gaff capacity. Actually, not, not, not fully, but it fixes it. See the front line here. Oh, there goes a big battle, minus one. Let's see how it goes for the Ottomans. Looks like he's late with reinforcements, but he did reinforce in last second. We think he will win. France. How does Condottier work in MP? Can other players possibly help? So we've got uh, two rules. One, I think you cannot send the Condottier before 1500. And second, if you send it after 1500, you, can, you have to send it for 100% of cost. Exception is sending 1k just to watch the war. Um, France? Where are your troops? Ottomans are winning that. Look, it was just absolutely destroying them. I mean, I mean, it's close, but yeah, Ottomans are winning both. This one might be a, a, or about the roll, 16,000 reserves. Oh no, the Ottomans are winning both. And is it 2v1 now? No. That's kind of just. Not sending, like, look, Otaska is giving 60,000 in Naples and France and 90,000 out of this war, and France is having 60,000 out of these battles. And that's the reason they lost. Remember, Otaska is at war with Barbie states, so he's be aware. Hmm. Skasti is actually losing to Barbie states. Fortunate. So I'm devving my own culture because I've got this policy development cost in the primary culture. Uh, there are promises from Warrior to take, but I don't have war score. I'll leave that for later. Could I separate piece of that? Just... Yeah, I could. We had any player wars? Yeah, last session when I couldn't play, uh, I was helping Lithuania fight Poland. And I was also theoretically in the war of Ottoman King Mamluks. Last session, but it was also my sub, and he was too busy helping Lithuania of Poland, so he couldn't help much there against Ottomans. And since my sub only increased my income by 10 when I was uh, in 30 years, I'm scaling today. So 157 from 90 at the start, we gotta hit 200 today. So for the government reform, a tier 6, so the military one could go for reinforced speed, reinforced cost, supply. <laughs> supply would be of use. Artillery cost and barrage cost. Barrage cost is already decreasing the mod. Fort maintenance. Is that mine? I think that's mine, right? Attention for enemies. Fort defense. Collision size. Max hostile attrition. Let's fing go. In the mountains and all of that Siberia attacking will be painful. Yeah, I need to just build more forts in Siberia. That pissed out Choros as well, guys! <laughs> I guess we take care of him in five years. That's not what I expected.
he joined. Okay, where is Neko? Did you see that the sign started helping Ottomans? He gave him provinces needed for the Ottoman Empire and now he's helping. So how about we attack Ottomans as well? I'm not sure about uh, today, but maybe maybe next week we, we, we can do that, but for sure not today. So let's do that. Let's see how they will handle this war. But you know, if Westphalia starts losing this war hard, we might need to attack today. So you know, just in case, be ready. I mean, it's three versus two, so I don't think... Uh, but it's... You know, it's three versus two, but what kind of three versus what kind of two, right? Yeah. They were barely winning three versus one. Alright, so we'll see how the situation will work out and maybe we'll do something today. Okay. Uh, let's see how it goes, but I don't see that too well for France. Let's just build more force than you build these guys in the meantime. Did Sassanis take the technology? They, they are not fighting with technology at least. I still super so I have only 120k troops. So it wouldn't be of huge use there. They are the one attacking on minus one. This it seems that Sassanids like led this battle at the start. So Europeans got some advantage, but look amount of reinforcements. Well, actually, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm really rooting for Europeans. Because problems with U4. I like U4 with its state. They nerfed sources of manpower and force limit. That was a really good starter. I mean, the, the biggest issue might be like the speed, right? How it works, especially in mid-late game for some people. This battle is going to be super close. Ottomans and Sassanids overstacked. So France might have a chance thanks to this. They're doing a really good job with you for development, at least for me in the recent years. That's of course different. Oh, minus two battle now. Different stuff about uh, stuff to improve in MP and single player. Single player wise is good. Multiplayer wise, like experience points is just use mods anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is gonna be so close, guys. That's a minus two. But I think oh, 30k reserves, 40k reserves. Guys, now what's gonna run, fir run out first? Morale of uh, these guys or reserves of these guys? Oh my god! <laughs> it's all about thrones now. France is losing. Reserves run out first <laughs> before morale. Oh, and they've lost more troops. And look, see how much more troops these guys have now. That's gonna be tough for Europeans. Oh, fished a good general. See? Oh, no, he's 1352, for fuck's sake. Lucky and unlucky at the same time. Oh, good. That's what I wanted to talk Hormuz to. I'm not gonna help there. So Europeans won the battle here, but lost in Vienna. I mean, that might at least force him out of the war. And if Ottomans start helping him against Hormuz, I'm gonna join it. I told him, there will be consequences of you joining the Ottoman war. And he, he said, ah, oh, I'm gonna take my chances. Ooh. Hormuz brought Dravidesa into that war. Why Sasayan brought Chi. Dravidesa is strong. We'll see. W wait a second. I have to peace out one. Right? There's so many things happening. Look at this. Look at this. 
Well, troops does Ottoman have do Ottoman have at this time, at this point of the game. Ottomans, 34. No, I cannot do alone Ottoman. He has three and a half more troops than me, which means he has 500,000 regiments. 500 regiments. Well, they are pushing again as France was trying to push uh, Brandenburg. Just love to see it. And Ottoman still have the Harambe blessing. So plus 10% discipline event. Main can drop. I lost this. But regain it next month. Or in two months. How is that of Ottoman? I doubt they have any. Yeah, not a single loan taken, guys. Commonwealth's like, oh, this four of you, uh, I don't need it. That's the Commonwealth approach right now. I don't have Sasanians, because Sasanians decided that they gotta help Ottomans. And that is what started trolling the world war. That's when Horbus attacked Sasanians, and Shun started uh, helping Sasanians. Javidus are joined that war as well. Then Brandenburg attacked France. Oh, he and Kodoshu surrender to Westphalia. Hmm, why? He was... Brandenburg here? He was about... He had a chance of winning. Now with this condition, he's killing Brandenburg. He... Which is fighting 1v2 here. He didn't take that much. Right? Hungary. To be honest, I expected more. Now, is he gonna help the science? If he does, these guys are screwed. Is it just two of them? They can still call one more guy. Could be me. Brandenburg is just fake warring. I don't know what he's doing. They're not fighting. They're falling back. Does it mean Ottomans are coming? What is France doing? So he's not coming here. Let's see the battle here. Ottomans still have the Harambe blessing. And he's attacking on minus two. See how India does here. And Hormuz. But I don't think they have a huge chance. Ottoman still have so many troops. Look. Yeah, he still runs around 420 regiments. His army. About state maintenance. This guy seems to be overstacking. It's a minus 3 for the Ottomans, so that's a big chance for Hormuz and Dravidesa. It's gonna be tough for Hormuz and Dravidesa to win that. I don't need a general, come on, don't don't make a general when I do not ask for him, okay? I can go and note you, but I'm not gonna do a general now, I don't need one. A Hormuz is not that big, right? And this David is late as well. Let's see. High thousand reserves, 70 k they, they have a chance of winning. They have more cannons. And it's a minus three. If they roll nicely, they still have a chance of winning here. 30k res No, 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 not enough. They're losing that. Unless they roll like really good when they could win them, but they're out of reserves. These guys still have 20k, so nope. Nope. Yep. At least Davidas is gonna win Yast. At least there's a chance on that. Because this guy shouldn't be on time, but we'll see about that. They might be. Oh! Now Davidas is like a minus two and sees that they're winning. Is it almost busy with something else? Why they're winning? How? Oh no, Thomas is coming with more. But really in the last moment. Are they coming with more? 5th October. Okay. Reinforcements for Naples probably save them this battle. Look, maybe not. They have 5 days. 4 days. Three, yeah, they're too late. 
But the ones are too late, guys. He misplaced that. If I was like bad, I could just do this. But I don't want to do that. Good borders. Above anything. Oh yeah, we can peace out now. Isn't this just perfect? Aren't those the best borders you've ever seen? They are, right? Hmm. Now the science won the alliance back. You rich allied my biggest enemy. We're getting there. Catching up on Sasanian Empire. And we're ending here. Income wise, we are probably very behind. David has 530. Otomo has 400. That's, that's nice. I love it. David has 420 France, 300 in Malaya, Sasanian 286. And we are very, very behind 576. We're getting there. Mana generation. It's not that bad, 40k. Look, total area. Georgia number one. <laughs> what a difference. Real development. Maybe I'll be 11 in total. Also 11. Average death is 9. We've conquered lots of trash lands now. So, how about death clicks? We didn't death click much in the last two sessions, so we probably fall behind. We are like number four. Number eight now. Okay, it's not that bad. We're falling behind, but not as much.